Hello, my beautiful Taurus. I hope you all are doing amazing. Today, I'm going to be tapping into the energies of your love life. So it's going to be your general love reading for the week here. Uh, so pretty much whatever comes out for you guys. Alrighty, for my Taurus. Okay, let's see. So these cards, guys, they have a true statement as well as a trigger statement, okay? So we have two cards for you guys. Uh, let's see. So starting off with soothing, okay? So it reads, the trigger statement is, I need to fix this. And the true statement is, I am willing to learn from this. So it says, lift yourself above your life situation and observe as a witness. Understand that you are so much more than this story. Okay. And then we have uh, pink pepper, which is the trigger statement reads, what do they have that I don't? True statement, we are all special. Allow your inner critic to be silenced as you find the perfection in yourself and those around you. Grace. Okay. So this is a pretty clear message here, Taurus. You know, essentially what I'm seeing is you're trying to soothe yourself or soothe your mind from something that took place in this dynamic, okay? And you're telling yourself it's okay, even though it feels difficult, okay? Now, there could be this urge to wanting or, or, or this urge to fix things between you and this person or kind of uh, wanting to alter the dynamic that you guys share. But the true statement there is, I'm willing to learn from this. So some of you feel like the right thing to do is learn from this and let go, but it doesn't change the fact that you still feel like there's a lack of clarity or something that you want to work on here. So you could be in between worlds. And then we have, uh, you know, what do they have that I don't? And true statement, we are all special. You and I for a second, Taurus, there's something about this connection where you feel like you were over giving almost to the point where you're like, what am I doing wrong? You know, why isn't this person reciprocating my energy? There could have been some sort of questioning or doubtful energy on your end or this person's end. So take it how it resonates here. Okay. Uh, let's, let's see here. It's like maybe when you think about the situation, you know, you're kind of hard on yourself. Maybe you feel like I've invested a lot of time. I've put forth a lot of effort. Where did I go wrong? Where did you go wrong? Where did we go wrong? Right? Because it seems that when you think about this connection, there are a lot of high hopes, although you feel like because you weren't able to fully execute this uh, commitment here or move things uh, to where you essentially wanted them to be, there is this, again, uh, uh, energy of focusing on what did not work. Okay, so again, you're doing things to soothe your mind. Maybe some of you, uh, you know, you are partaking in some sort of hobbies or just spending time with loved ones, but you feel like you're trying to kind of get your energy back or your mojo back in one way or another. Okay, so we have the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck here. And then when I split the deck, I see the Five of Wands, which means not only are you focused on the commitment that you shared with this person or even the promises that were made between the both of you, because I feel like with the Ten of Pentacles, that speaks about long-term plans. That speaks about when you look at someone, when you view a situation, you're like, yeah, this is my forever person. You know, this is someone that I can see a future with. But then we have the Five of Wands, which is like a very chaotic energy, conflicting opinions, a lot going on in the external environment. So maybe you're very frustrated that every time you've tried to work on things with this person, every time you guys were trying to commit to each other, there was always something in the way here. Okay, let's see. Some of you may be involved with an earth sign, so another Taurus like yourself, a Capricorn or a Virgo, or it could also be a fire sign. Alrighty, let's see. So we have the Three of Cups, okay guys? And then we have the Hermit. So some of you may be involved with the Virgo here, but as far as these two cards, what I see is someone who is wanting to either take you out, show you off, or, you know, do something to treat you, cheer you up in a situation. But with the Hermit being the next card, some of you may not be on the same page. So what I see here, Taurus, okay, Empress on the bottom of the deck, which is your energy, also Libran energy. Um, but what I see here, guys, is, you know, this person may be wanting to take things, you know, very slowly here or wanting to do something like a, like, like coming forward with a kind gesture. But with that hermit, you may be in the energy of, you know what, I want to focus on myself. I feel like I need to isolate myself from the situation because nothing is coming from the situation as of right now. 
many of you feel like, again, you're self-focused. You're focused on something that is progressing for you, focused on growth, um, you know, but essentially many of you feel like even if this person is doing something to cheer you up it doesn't feel like it's enough and in no way am i saying that you're ungrateful taurus it's just you you know what you want from the situation you know the empress energy is you know it's an energy of someone not willing to settle they know what they want and they're only going to go after that so what this person's doing or what they're coming forward with doesn't seem to be enough at this time because you're thinking about the bigger picture you're thinking about a commitment here Okay, so right now you feel like you want to go within, potentially just focus on yourself or gain some sort of clarity, but on your own though. I don't feel like it's clarity that you're seeking from this person. So the Empress wanted to come out again, followed by the Seven of Cups. Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck here. So the main problem I see here, Taurus, is this person is very in and out. So they speak to you one day, the next day you don't know if they're going to speak to you or if they're just going to fall off the face of the earth. So it causes a lot of emotional confusion here as far as the Seven of Cups goes. Now, here's what I will say. You know, we were touching on this doubtful energy as I opened your spread, Taurus. So what I see here, almost like an energy of... You know, I know my worth. I know what I bring to the table. I've, you know, clearly stated what I wanted to this person from this connection. But with that seven of cups, why do they still come off confused to me? Is this something that's going on internally within this person and their emotions? Or is there something present in this bond that's confusing them? Okay, so I'll answer your question. The seven of cups is when you're internally confused. When you're confused about your emotions, you don't know what you want, you, you're, you know, you're having a hard time seeing past illusions. So I see that for many of you, the questioning came from a space of you trying to be understanding. So you tried your best here, Taurus. You were kind of like, okay, fine. Let me just step aside and kind of put myself in this person's shoes. What would I potentially be confused about? right? But this is something that's more internal. This is something that's stemming from within this individual where they're not really sure what they want from this connection. Do they have emotions for you? Absolutely. Do they feel like this is a situation that has the potential for growth with the Empress? Yep. And the Empress is not only just being attracted to someone, that's like loving someone, seeing a lot of potential, seeing a lot of growth. But with that Seven of Cups, there is a, a, a difficulty that this person faces when it comes to making a firm decision pertaining to their emotions. Okay. So Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck here, Seven of Swords. Some of you feel like this person is doing something behind your back. You feel like you are owed an explanation, okay? Or you have chose to kind of separate yourself from this equation because you felt like this person was kind of just in a very back and forth energy. Again, not necessarily communicating what they wanted from this connection. So I'll give you a generic example. You may have, you may feel like when you were involved with this person, when you guys go out, everything is fine and this person tells you all the right things. But when it comes to actually, you know, uh, being in a commitment or when it even comes to communicating about emotions, there's some sort of blockage there. There definitely is. And even the distance between the both of you that, uh, you know, is present here, it raises a lot of questions because again, there's an inability from your person's end to express how they truly feel. So there's a blockage when it comes to, you know what, I'm going to tell Taurus how I feel. Mm, no, you know what, I'm going to hold back. So that's the problem here. That's what I'm uh, sensing. What's the Three of Cups? Two of Wands. For some of you, this is physical distance, or it just speaks about you feeling like you're continuously waiting on this person. And I guess, you know, what I see here is what's essentially uh, bothering you is the fact that you feel like you have been very patient. You feel like you have gone to the ends of the earth for this person, but because they're not really realizing that or reciprocating that energy, it's really just making you want to turn your back towards the situation and look to your future and maybe look towards something new here. Bottom of the deck, the moon, you know, there are emotions here. You know, um, you guys rule the Hierophant. You're highly intuitive. You know, you know that the emotions are here, but you're kind of thinking, well, if there's no, nothing being done about the emotions with the judgment, or this person is not uh, willing to take a leap of faith based off of how they feel, instead they're choosing to suppress how they feel, I don't really know how I feel either, or I don't really know if I want to move on with this situation or this person. What's the two of wands? 
And the moon could also be a lot of, could be letting me know that there are many things in this connection are not being uh, clearly stated or clearly viewed at this time. Because again, the moon comes out at night, which means there's more darkness there. There's a lot in the unknown. Right. So many of you just want like this person to tell you how they feel or, or what they want from this connection. So when you see the moon as well as this, as well as the seven of cups, that could be a very difficult energy to deal with because you feel like you're constantly guessing how this person feels. You feel like you constantly have no choice, but, you know, make your own conclusions or jump to assumptions here because this person is not really being open with you. Right. So it's like, OK, I know I'm intuitive, but I don't really want to use my intuition to guide me through a connection when we could just you know, have a conversation like two civilized human beings. What's the two of wands? The star. Something very unique about this connection that only the both of you um, are aware of, you know. So it's almost like ace of wands, bottom of the deck here. Taurus, like some of you feel that the reason why you have been holding on to this connection, because it's because you know that there's something special about it, right? Even the true statement on the second card of the uh, pink pepper card, it says we are all special. So you know that there's something special about this connection. But the fact that there is being nothing done about it is essentially what is rubbing you the wrong way. Asa wants the emperor. OK, so you want a new beginning here, right? This is how you view this person. You feel like they want a new beginning or there's passion here, but they're not really taking control or doing anything about it. Instead, they're remaining in a very complacent energy. The hanged man is when you're doing a lot of thinking. You may even be having a shift in perspective, but you're not doing anything about it in the 3D. Okay, so again, this person feels like there's something very unique about this connection. They may even feel like you're a very rare individual, but with that hermit, there is this energy of feeling very isolated. What's the hermit? We have the three of swords, okay? So some of you feel like this person has hurt you in one way or another. And we have the nine of swords in reverse. You know what I see here, Taurus? I feel like this is someone who is very well aware that there was hurt caused in this situation. They're also hurting when it comes to this situation. But with that nine of swords in reverse, that is someone who is avoiding thinking about a situation. Okay, so what's going on in your person's mind right now, guys, is... With the Nine of Swords upright, that's someone who's stressed out about a situation. So, of course, no one wants to be stressed out. But with the Nine of Swords upright, the pro of that card is the fact that you're like, okay, fine. This situation is stressing me out. Yes, okay, fine. I am hurt by it, so I'm going to think about it. So the pro of that is you're actually accepting the reality and uh, focusing on what you could do to move to the next level, right? To put an end to, uh, you know, the, the stress that you're feeling because the next card would be Ten of Swords. But when you have the Nine of Swords in reverse, guys, that's someone who is not wanting to think about the situation. They know that there's hurt there. They know that they're, uh, you know, this situation is stressing them out, but they rather put it on the back burner because they feel like with the Three of Swords upright, when they think about the situation, it causes a lot of pain. But sometimes, you know, critical thinking is not fun, right, guys? Like when you have to think about something critical, yeah, it may hurt. It may bring up, bring up, uh, you know, up a lot of emotions here. But in order to find a solution, you need to think about it. So, you know, said all that to say your person is in a very avoidant energy mentally, right? So it's someone who is, they know, they feel the hurt here. They are thinking about you, but they always try to distract themselves or they try their best not to think about the situation or they're like, oh, if I don't worry about it or if I just don't think about it for long enough, it will just disappear. So that's currently what your person is going through mentally. And when you have the nine of swords in reverse, as well as the seven of cups are right, that could even be someone who's in a little bit of a delusional state in terms of maybe telling their self what they believe to be, to be right, or maybe just telling their self something that makes them feel better or something that floats their boat, but it's not necessarily coming to terms with the reality of a situation. What's the empress? Page of Swords. I feel like this person's definitely keeping tabs on you, Taurus. Like, you know, whether it's through social media, maybe some of you have mutual friends. Yeah, confirmation. There's your energy on the bottom of the deck there. Right, guys? Um, so with the Hierophant, it is someone who feels like you're very wise. You're, it's almost like even if they're not communicating with you or there's a lack of consistency when it comes to communication, they feel like you know what they're up to. 
Like they feel like you're very quiet and reserved, but there's a lot going on, uh, you know, mentally, like you're really still thinking about the situation or you're aware of what's, uh, what their circumstances are. Page of Swords, again, guys, this person's keeping tabs on you. They're wondering what you're up to. This could also be a very curious energy, like someone who's thinking about, you know, the potential of this connection. Where could this possibly go? But it, the approach to it is very immature. It's like someone who would rather, uh, I don't know, like check up on your social media or ask a friend about you or, you know, instead of actually just reaching out or instead of, again, even if you're speaking to this person, I guarantee you that they're not asking you every single thing that they're curious about. Because Page of Swords is when you have a lot of questions, but you're like, uh, oh, I'm curious what Taurus is up to, or I'm curious if, you know, what Taurus thinks about the future, but you know what, I'm, I'm not going to really ask Taurus. I think I'm going to figure out on my own. So that's kind of your person's energy here. What's the Page of Swords? bottom of the deck the hanged man this person thinks about you a lot Taurus but it's almost like they don't think about what went wrong you know let's let's just kind of like backtrack here let's talk about the three of swords and the nine of swords here what does that tell you that tells you that there was hurt here there was you know some sort of heartbreak that you know first it was hurt right on an emotional level and then furthermore it kind of translated into pain on a mental level so like you know uh stress you know worry that sort of thing so as much as that's going on, your person doesn't want to think about that. They are thinking about you, but they're not thinking about the hurt that was caused in this situation. This could be someone who does a lot of daydreaming or fantasizing, but when it comes to, okay, let's get to the bottom of the situation. What's the reality of the situation right now, Taurus? You and I for a second. There is hurt here. There's a lack of trust, okay? They do, they do love you, but in order to work on things, what do they need to focus on? First of all, they need to figure out what they want here, right? Seven of Cups is... Uh, you know, so many things in front of you and you're kind of like, okay, you know, which way do I want to go? So there's a lot of figuring out within self that needs to occur on this person's end before they actually figure out what they want with you. So even taking the first step here, when there's an avoidant energy, it's like, okay, I know I need to do that, but I don't want to think about that. So that's essentially what the blockage is. Hanged man, 10 of cups, eight of cups, right? They feel like they walked away from a connection that could have been like a connection for a lifetime because a Ten of Cups is like someone that you share your, uh, you know, be all and all with. What's the Seven of Cups? Eight of Cups is also, you know, they feel like you walked away because there was a key component missing here. Okay, what's the key component? You wanted commitment and you felt like they were confused. Right, Eight of Cups is walking away after facing some sort of difficulty. So, you know, eight could be significant. Like maybe you've known this person for eight months or you know, um, et cetera. Maybe they are born on the eighth month or the eighth of a month. You know, you get the point here, Taurus. But what I see is someone who feels like, okay, Taurus tried time and time again, but they walked away because they weren't receiving their desired outcome. Eight of Cups is when you walk away from something, but it was so difficult for you to do it, but you also had to accept the reality. It's like, okay, I love this person. I had high hopes for this connection, but for example, generic example, there was no growth here, or I don't see this as being, uh, I only see this as temporarily stable. So I need to kind of draw back my emotions now before it gets um, a little sticky or before I'm, I'm in too deep here. For some of you, you were in pretty deep because there was this questioning going on about like, why can't we get this right? You know, uh, you also being very patient, which means that lets me know you were in pretty deep when it came to this connection because you were being very patient with this person. But then you did get to a point where you're like, hey, like I'm only human. I'm going to get tired as well. Um, Seven of Cups. Some of you may even feel like this person likes the chase, like they like to be chased, they like to be, you know, sought after, but they're not really, uh, you know, reciprocating that energy. Or once it's once it's the phase of actually just speaking about emotions and being committed and, and moving to the next level, like it's not that honeymoon butterfly phase anymore, you feel like this person, they tend to... Uh, like their energy tends to shift at that point is the best way for me to explain it. Uh, what's the Seven of Cups? Ace of Wands in reverse. Okay. 
So for some of you, you feel like it's really hard for you to believe that there would be a new uh, beginning here. You know, we have the seven of swords on the bottom of the deck, which means not only is there a lack of trust here, you feel like there is still something that this person is actively doing right now behind your back. Seven of cups, seven of swords. Maybe some of you feel like this person is um, committed elsewhere and they weren't open about it, or they're still exploring their options, or they're like there's something about this person causing a lot of confusion in this uh, bond here. And with that seven of swords upright, you feel like it's still going on. Like it's not that, you know, it happened in the past and your person has made a clear decision. You feel like, no, they're still very much confused or they're still very dishonest here. What's the ace of wands in reverse? It's almost like you're like, am I still passionate about this connection? You know, do I still feel the same way as I did, you know, once upon a time? Many of you, the main question here could be, do I really believe that there could be some sort of new beginning here between the both of us? Especially if I feel like this person's confused, how are we supposed to turn over a new leaf if this person is still coming in with the same behavior? Ace of Wands in reverse, let's see. Four of Swords, Knight of Swords, could be unexpected communication. I mean, I, I feel like for many of you, you're kind of aware of this. You know that this person has been very in and out and you, you don't really know what to expect from them, but you also kind of expect them to come in out of nowhere because this is what you're used to when it comes to this person's energy. But Four of Swords, guys, it means you're really questioning, you know, whether you want to remain silent with this individual or actually try to hear this person out. Now, in your energy, it seems like a part of you wants clarity, but a part of you kind of you already have a fixed image on this person and their behavior, Taurus. That's what I, that's what I see. Like, it's like, okay, I want clarity, but I, I know this person's indecisive. I know they're in and out. I know they're, you know, still juggling or there's something here that makes me feel like I need to be on guard. But again, it doesn't change the fact that there's still love here or a part of you may want clarity. On your person's end, Knight of Swords, I do see that they could be communicating with you even right now, but it seems to be very quick, speedy communication, very unpredictable. Okay, someone who could speak to you for days on end and then not speak to you for days on end. Four of Swords, some of you may be choosing to be silent with this person and you're kind of healing in silence as well. You know, we have the Three of Swords as well as the Four of Swords. The main focus here right now is to heal from the hurt. That's what I see, guys. Okay, so my wonderful Taurus, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.